so hi, I'm Megan. I am a senior keeper here at Zoo New England. We are at Franklin Park Zoo today in our children's zoo area, and we are meeting our red panda female, Bon Lee. She is six years old, and you'll also be able to see our male Munt Jack Saka walking around with her. Oh, what's that? This is our Munt Jack Saka. Oh, he's so cute. I'm trying to bring her over here as best I can. As a zookeeper here at Franklin Park Zoo, I work in the children's zoo area specifically. So every day we come in and care for our farmyard animals as well as our red pandas, our aviary, and our prairie dogs. So every day we'll come in, we will check on the animals, we give them fresh food and water, we'll clean all the exhibits and shift the animals that need to go out. Um, our red pandas are a good example of animals that we shift on exhibit from their back holding area. And then throughout the day, we will do some training sessions. We will give them enrichment and just do spot checks throughout the day. Uh, 
I definitely think the animals pick up on our uniforms and they will definitely recognize or work very well for their trainers. So here at Zoo New England, we have training teams for our animals. So there will be two or three keepers that will work on different behaviors with the animals. So while you're working on training, you definitely grow a much stronger bond with the animal and they will learn to trust you. And this is really beneficial for when we're training for medical procedures, um, such as them needing like a blood draw or a vaccine injection. Uh, being able to work with the animal daily and grow that trust with them really makes the procedures very calm and easy on both the animals and the staff. <laughs>
and we have a zoo camp over the summer. So there's lots of opportunities to start getting into the zoo career field um, and just getting hands-on experience is really the way that I've done it and a lot of the other keepers here have done it. <laughs> Rachel, I'm a senior keeper here at the Tropical Forest in the Franklin Park Zoo. And this is our gorilla, new exhibit, our Gorilla Grove. A normal day as a zookeeper, uh, no day is the same. Uh, we wear many hats here. We are caregivers, we are uh, dietitians, we are uh, doctors, not so much doctors, but you know, we do have to do a certain amount of things. Like we will feed our animals and we do behavioral stuff with them just to make sure that everything is okay. So like I said, no day is ever the same. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, like, uh, every day is different here, uh, so you never know what you're going to come into. And the great thing about it is I, have, I work with a bunch of people who have the same mindset that we have with helping the animals and caring for the animals and passing along our conservation message to our guests. So every day, it's a new day here. Uh, considering that we work with animals, these animals every single day, there's not, there's no chance that we won't form a bond with them. Gorillas are very intelligent, so it's easier to form a bond with them. Uh, they do recognize us because obviously we give them food, we interact with them, uh, and they all have each distinct personality, so it really is easy to form a bond with them.
Well, I've worked with these guys for a number of years, so I have seen lots of interactions. I think my favorite so far has been once the babies get a little older, when dad interacts with them, it is a very rewarding experience because for the first couple of years of a gorilla's life, they're attached to their mom and they're attached to their sisters. But once dad knows that they're big enough to handle them, then they interact with them. And a lot of it is a lot of wrestling, a lot of play biting, and a lot of just like just playing. And it's just very, very cute. <laughs> So uh, usually first thing what we do is we service their exhibit and put all their food out and their enrichment. And that is a very good time because gorillas basically they will forage and sleep. And so uh, usually a good time is early in the morning and then another time in the afternoon when we do the forage to encourage that natural behavior for them. Uh, that's when they're most active. Fun facts. Well, especially with the gorillas, they do not, they're not big water lovers. And so we do have water exhibits with them, but they're not big bathers. But we do have a couple of gorillas that actually do like the water. Like Dad Katambe, he loves the water, especially on very warm days. Uh, that little behavior has passed on to a couple of his kids. Uh, his youngest daughter, Aziza, she's a really good water lover. And Pablo, he's just starting to come into his own. So he's figuring out he likes the water as well. So it's just a very great thing to do to see them, especially on Gorilla Grove now that we have that whole waterfall part so they love that it's a very competitive field there are a lot of people who want to be zookeepers uh, I would just say just keep 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 at it like you, you might have some walls but uh, volunteering helps uh, getting any kind of animal experience helps you a lot uh, it's just a hard field to get into, but if you just keep at it and if you be persistent, then, you know, you'll enjoy your job. It's very worth it. It's very worth it. I love working with animals and I also love the people that I work with too.